My guest today is Robert Kalman, Marketing Manager for High-End Microcontrollers at Renesas. Welcome. Hi. Robert, you brought us a new product today. Um, what is it? What, what market segments does it address? What can you tell us? Okay, so the, the product we're talking about today is um, it's a very new product for uh, Renesas. It's the Super H uh, SH7269. Um, it's a member of the, uh, the wide-ranging uh, Super H uh, family, uh, and uh, it's addressing a whole host of different uh, markets, mostly aimed at the uh, human-machine interface uh, market. So we're talking about anywhere, anything where humans uh, interface um, through, a, a, uh, through a TFT screen uh, into, the, uh, into a device. So we're talking about things like surveillance cameras, we're talking about rear cameras in, in automotive applications, we're talking about uh, industrial controls applications. Uh, we're also talking about video entry even for your door uh, in your house. Uh, and um, talking about a whole host of, of different applications which are really being born out of this new uh, iPod generation, if you like, mm -hmm. to, uh, like to think about it. We've got a lot of, uh, um, a lot of work going on in the, in the white goods arena. Uh, recently, if you went to the, uh, the Messe up in, uh, in Berlin, uh, we will have seen uh, last month a whole host of, uh, of different uh, white goods manufacturers and their washing machines and dishwashers um, promoting um, new TFT interfaces, so um, touchscreen interfaces, to even their white goods. So this real iPod generation is, is becoming a bigger and bigger market. Uh, we've seen things like the Galaxy, uh, Samsung Galaxy, um, achieving 300% uh, compound annual growth rate over the last few years. And this is being mirrored uh, not only in the mobile sector, but also uh, across the, uh, the industrial and the rest of the consumer market. I see. Um, Renesas has a huge product portfolio, but what does make this product special? Why are you presenting this one? Well, you're right. The Renesas does have a, a very wide portfolio. The, uh, the Super H family is a, a huge portfolio, uh, very active, uh, a very active family ranging from the uh, 50 megahertz, um, 16 um, kilobytes of, uh, of flash memory, all the way up to over 2,000 dry stone MIPS uh, worth of performance in a, a dual core high-end processor solution. And this is a product sitting right in the, uh, in the middle, specifically targeted at these human machine interface uh, applications. The kind of key features of, uh, of this particular device are, uh, first of all and, and most importantly, uh, 2.5 megabytes of on-chip SRAM, making this one of the, uh, the devices with the largest uh, on-chip SRAM uh, of any of the microcontroller and microprocessor families uh, in the market today. Uh, additionally, it uh, features an SH2A core, which is a very fast-running core up at 266 megahertz, delivering about 600 uh, dry stone MIPS uh, of performance, so a high-performance core uh, with a lot of integrated memory. Uh, also, it includes uh, a TFT um, display driver, so it's able to directly drive uh, up to an SVGA screen, so up to uh, very large uh, screen resolutions. Uh, and on top of that, it integrates um, actually hardware uh, support for um, the OpenVG uh, 1.1. Uh, all of those APIs are uh, integrated in, in hardware, making this a very robust uh, solution for uh, a whole host of different HMI human-machine interfaces and GUI graphical user interface uh, applications. I see, but you mentioned it ha is based on a Super H core. Most of your competitors are based on ARM processors, ARM cores. So why are you going another way? That's a very good question. It's one that we get asked uh, quite a lot. Um, clearly, there are a lot of our competitors focusing on, uh, on ARM core in this, uh, in this particular area. And what we found in the market that there seems to be two different areas of, uh, of the, um, the comp competition focusing on ARM core devices. There are competitors coming from an ARM core um, Cortex M3 based solution, uh, where we're talking about a, um, a microcontroller with integrated flash and, uh, and perhaps a small amount of integrated RAM. Uh, and the other area where we see uh, a lot of competitors proposing uh, Cortex-A9 type solutions, high-end processor solutions, um, where they, um, uh, they have a, more of a focus on the high-end processor market. And this solution sits just between those two, uh, actually providing the cost benefits of a, a low-end uh, solution and the performance of a high-end processor solution. Uh, 
Of course, if you're going for something like Android as your operating system, if you're going for the next generation of Windows, uh, clearly ARM uh, is supported by those architectures and ARM is the way to go in those architectures, which is the reason, of course, why Renesas has in its portfolio four particular customers who are looking at using Windows or looking at using Android or operating systems which are focused on ARM. We have a, for, uh, a portfolio of ARM uh, solutions, mostly aimed at our mobile phone customers uh, and, uh, and such like. Uh, however, for customers who are looking for an industrial control uh, application or a, uh, a consumer application uh, to drive a simple TFT, um, mostly customers don't need the performance of a, a 1 gigahertz ARM 9 uh, solution. It comes with um, some additional bomb cost, um, uh, bomb cost uh, problems uh, that we think we can solve very nicely here. But they need a little bit more performance than the... Um, uh, than a Cortex M3 or M4 okay. solution. So it sits nicely between those two. And actually it's the bomb cost which really comes down uh, at the end of the day to be the, um, uh, the big differentiator for this, uh, this family. Um, if, uh, if we talk about the bomb cost, um, each of those different features that I talked about before actually uh, adds to a much lower bill of materials cost. A standard microcontroller um, solution today driving a TFT screen uh, will probably use something like an external graphics uh, yeah. IC to drive the TFT screen. Very often we'll use uh, a big uh, external NOR flash controller. Um, we'll also use some uh, external RAM. Uh, we integrate the LCD driver support into our uh, microcontroller, so you, obviously you save some bomb cost on that side. Uh, we also um, uh, integrate the RAM, uh, up to 2.5 megabytes of RAM, uh, SRAM embedded in this solution. So that means that you have a much uh, lower uh, bill of materials cost because you don't need any external RAM. Um, the 726X family, and including the 7269, which we're talking about today, uh, is able to boot from uh, the um, an SPI flash in this case. In this case uh, even a QSPI flash, which can be as fast as running uh, as booting directly from NOR flash, but uh, provides a much uh, lower pin uh, footprint. So instead of having a 32-bit bus uh, external, you only have a few pins driving, uh, talking to a, a serial flash. So uh, we're able to save some uh, significant bomb cost there by reducing the cost of a NOR flash down to a standard SPI flash. Uh, and all of this combines together to mean that the packaging of this device is actually much smaller, which means we can offer a QFP package instead of uh, a lot of our processor competitors who are offering a, Q, uh, a, a BGA package, which means that you can have a much lower cost PCB. Uh, so all these things combine together to offer what we think is one of the lowest bomb cost um, HMI solutions in the market today. So um, we um, integrate the LCD driving capability we um, uh, integrate the up to 2.5 megabytes of SRAM and uh, we are able to boot from a, a, an SPI flash, uh, which means that we have a much lower bomb, we have a much smaller number of pins and uh, means that we're able to use a, a much uh, cheaper PCB. So if you look at the, the different uh, ARM solutions, as you suggested, mm. and as some of our customers have, have also asked us, if you look at the processor and, in fact, the controller solutions which are out in the market, we believe that the bomb cost, the actual bill of materials cost of the whole solution is much cheaper uh, when you go with the, uh, the SH726X family, or in this case, the uh, 7269 with the OpenVG support. I see. But today, it's not only the only step you need to come up with a new product. You need support support for developers. You need all the infrastructure, the tools. So are you prepared for that as well? Absolutely. That's one thing that uh, uh, is very much the, uh, the clear message. And I think actually that's one um, marketing message that comes over very well from uh, our ARM Corps competitors. There is a full range of tools support available and actually we mirror that um, in the, uh, the SH uh, solutions. Uh, we have a full range of tools uh, available from a wide number of different uh, tools vendors in terms of software, uh, in terms of real-time operating systems, in terms of um, uh, communication protocols, but also specifically aimed at uh, HMI applications, uh, so uh, providing software to drive the TFT, uh, providing solutions uh, to assist with uh, OpenVG, um, uh, working with, uh, with OpenVG solutions. So we've got solutions from a wide range of 
uh, of different uh, different vendors, whether that be um, a fully integrated solution like uh, ones from uh, from Mentor Graphics or from Altia, whether that be a um, a hardware and software solution uh, like a solution from our, one of our new alliance partners, uh, ClareTech, who are based uh, just outside Paris. Um, whether that be um, you're just looking from a, a real-time operating system, such as one from Micrium, from Sega, from FreeRTOS, so a number of different solutions uh, that are all available for the, uh, the SH2A-based uh, solutions uh, in the market. So we really have th put a lot of thought into our tools offering uh, in terms of our software support, in terms of our alliance partner support to give our customers um, uh, assistance when they're building um, uh, these solutions. And of course, you can't get by, with, get by with just software. You also have to have a development board, uh, which I brought along with mm -hmm. me today, uh, which we can have a look at. Uh, it's actually a development board uh, running a, a demonstration of just showing how powerful some of the graphics on a, uh, on a solution can be when you're using OpenVG um, uh, solutions uh, when you're op using OpenVG support and just uh, how impressive you can make your, uh, your HMI solutions look today in what is a very low cost uh, system. Okay. Sounds like you're well prepared to get to the market and thank you very much. Thank you very much. We do like to think we're quite well prepared. Thank you.